Cool. Can I get a McDouble and two McChickens with no mayo? McDouble, Don't at me. Did you have the McDouble and the two McChickens? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. That was pretty cool. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Chickens, no mayonnaise, no yes, trouble. cool. Thank you. You too. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Cash, and you're tuned into a Lost Art Magic video. I want to welcome back those of you who are looking forward to today's video of the Half Baked Idea series. If you didn't watch my video from last week, go ahead and check that out after this video, of course. So I went to McDonald's to get some sandwiches because it relates to the effect that I wanted to teach you today, but I ate them. So let's just go ahead and get into the trick. Alright guys, so to start off this effect, you're going to need two jokers, two queens, two kings, whatever you normally use for your sandwich routine. I do recommend using two jokers that look identical just because it'll help with the subtlety later on in the routine, but it's not necessary. So you start off with your two cards and from here you're just going to do your standard sandwich routine. You would have a card selected, uh, let's say the five of spades. And you'll control this card to the top using any control that you normally would use. Yeah, control the card to the top position of the deck. After you control that card, you're going to take the jokers and you're just going to load the selected card in between the jokers. The way I normally do this is uh, I would pick up the jokers and I would flash like this to show both sides. I do that with both hands and as I do that, I just get a break under this card. Uh, it's just an easy way to kind of get into it. Boom, one, I place the joker on top of the break and the selection. And then the second card I show and I just load it into the break so that the card is in between. You'd be here, I have the jokers, right? And then I have the deck. So I do that in two different motions. So it's like I show the jokers and then the deck. So we have the jokers and we have the deck. Watch your card, boom. You make the selected card appear in between. A one little tip that I have for making the card appear is I would say keep a little space in between the two cards. You can have them like this, but I feel like having a little space there sells that the card is actually appearing there. It kind of isolates the two jokers from each other. Do it however the routine fits you. So we hit go here and we make the card appear. Now from here, you don't want to instantly show that it's their card. You want to drop the deck and you want to position the joker so they're the opposite direction. Uh, you'll see why in a second. You go here, you take their card out and you show it. As you show it, you just place the card back in between and point to it one last time and say, now what we're going to do is take your card and we're going to take it out of the jokers and leave it here. So there's a little sequence here that I like to follow to make this believable. So. You show the card, and right here you're going to switch this selected card with this joker. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to pivot the joker to this side, and you're going to turn everything over away from you, like this. 
As you turn it over, you're just switching these two cards so that this one is in the middle. So we'll do that again. Boom, so your card, the five of spades, and we'll leave it here. And you have it switched for a joker pointing out. Now this should all be one fluid motion. Now, if you do this switch smoothly, they're gonna believe that's the five anyway, or the selected card anyway. I still like to say a couple of things that help emphasize the moment. So we have the five of spades. Uh, if you notice, right before I do the switch, I'll point to it one last time. I say, your card, the five of spades, will take the five of spades and set it on the table right here. And I just put my finger on it and say the five of spades. Now obviously the five of spades is here, but they don't know that. They don't even know what's happening at this point. Card appears, your card, the five of spades. So watch, we'll take the five of spades, we'll leave it here, and we're gonna take the jokers like this, and watch, two cards. So right there, I just did a frustration count. That's a very basic magician's move, so if you're not aware of the frustration count, you can find tutorials on it, uh, but I'll go over it here because it's so simple. Uh, you have the joker and the selected card. You're just gonna push those flush, and you're gonna show the bottom card, remove the top card, and show the bottom card again. And you have the card on the bottom, which is perfect for the next move. So for the next move, you're gonna make these two cards turn into one card, and you're gonna convince them that it's the five of spades and the jokers are here. So, what you do is you're gonna do this move where you would wanna coalesce the cards like this. And the way I do that is you have the cards stacked about halfway through, maybe a little over half, and you wanna put your finger, your middle finger and thumb right in the middle of those two cards like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your ring finger to push those cards together like this. Now you wanna keep some pressure on these cards so that they're not just moving and spacing out and <laughs> just going in a weird, not aligned position. I'll show you from the side. Now once you get to this one card from doing that move, you're just gonna do a Stuart Gordon double, which is this. Again, this is another double that you should definitely learn if you don't know it already. I'll just go over it very briefly so you can see what I'm doing here. You'll be in this position from pushing the cards together and you wanna hold everything. You want to put pressure down, kinda like, uh, like the biddle grip. Put some pressure down onto that card and you're just gonna roll everything and your thumb is just gonna slide down the card. And you'll keep pressure with your index finger. So all in one action, it should look like this. Boom, to one card, your card, the five of spades. Which leads us to the next part, which is the palming off of the joker. So you have the two cards, you do your frustration count. We have the jokers, watch two cards, you shake into one card. Now, when I get to this point, I just kind of stop and show that it's their card, and I instantly go into the palm and point one finger, like showing one card, and I do this. Three things go on at once, so it allows you to get away with the palm a little easier, because uh, that's a moment where they'd be burning the cards. So, five, and I point one card. So let me show you the palm from a side view. Boom, the five of spades. And if you watch slowly, I'll just pull this five back and basically load the joker into my hand. Now because I'm, do I'm doing a very deep palm, if you see from the side, you would see the card here, but I like the subtlety of one finger and you can do it kind of like a gambler's cup, which is normally this. But I get away with doing it halfway. Uh, I have bigger hands, so that helps. Anyway, once you're here and you do this move, you wanna show the card for just a brief second. You wanna bring your hand up and say one card, leaving the jokers, and I just point, leaving the jokers here. And I just place my hand flat down onto those just to get it out of my palm. One card, they believe it's their card. We have the two jokers, watch. You give it a shake, changes to one card, the five, one card. Watch, leaving the jokers here. So 
So that's the basic sequence. Now that you understand everything that's going on, I'll kind of show it to you in one action. So we have the jokers, card selected, uh, the three of spades, all right? Three of spades, we'll leave it there. We'll take the jokers and the deck, watch. Your card actually jumps to in between the jokers, just like that, your card, the three of spades. All right, the three of spades. We'll take your card, and we'll leave it here, and we'll take this a step further. So we have the jokers, all right? We'll take the jokers, two cards. If we just shake those cards, it actually turns to one card, one card, the three of spades, leaving the jokers down here. All right guys, so there you have it, a little sandwich routine. There's some fun moves to practice there and it's just a fun routine overall. So I hope you enjoyed that. I posted this on my Instagram a little while back, but I took it down. Regardless, you should still follow me on Instagram if you haven't, cash underscore magic. If you ever have any ideas to send me or you just want to say something, you know, feel free to DM me there. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial today. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. I'm always reading, always checking them out. And don't forget to subscribe to Lost Art Magic because it's popping here. And I'll see you next Saturday for another Half-Baked Idea. Cash out.